I'm back with you all and what a pleasure. Now we will continue this every day, 10.30 in the morning newspaper analysis to kickstart your day uh, with some uh, good dose of current affairs and how to make notes on current affairs. So uh, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll cover all the three newspapers that I cover every day. But uh, I'll request you to keep your questions. The AMA questions that you have any can be kept for the end. Okay? So, we will take all the questions. Okay? There is no issue. Get up to 60% off and free delivery on Zomato. Call 888 We are live. We are live. So, we will, we will start our session now. Okay? Once again, uh, good morning. Yeah, good to see a lot of my friends here. And uh, more will join as we go along. Or, chalo. So, <coughs> Today I thought I'll start with uh, generally this newspaper comes in the end Times of India, but I thought I'll start with this because the way they have explained the uh, repo rate repo rate hike that has been done by the RBI, the way they have explained it, I thought it is very good that uh, you understand this. So this is a, a sixth straight RBI rate hike said to make home loans costlier. While at one place we want to encourage. The infrastructure industry, uh, you know, um, um, they, they only can progress the whole loans are cheap. If home loans are cheap, then young people, young couples who wish to own homes, they go for loans. And they get loans at cheap rate, they go for buying houses. Once they buy houses, the, there is a de uh, demand in the real estate sector, which includes plots, constructed houses, flats and everything. So, and you are, you understand. Uh, the uh, you know home industry uh, or catapult many other industries the cement uh, and the glass and you know tiles and labor force everything gets sucked into this industry okay so this is monetary policy votes pa monetary policy panel votes 4 to 4 to that means there were two people who were in disagreement in this uh, when, when they discussed this issue so anyway uh, this has come and uh, the Monetary Policy Committee voted 4-2 in favor of increasing the repo rate, the rate at which RBI lends to bank. So, what is Banks borrow money from RBI. So, earlier the banks were getting it at 6.25% loan, 6.25% interest. Now, it's increased to 6.5. So, 25 basis points, what they call PPS. So, uh, that is how it is. So, now... Uh, naturally, if the banks are getting uh, money at costlier rates, they will dish out accordingly to uh, to their customers. The losses will be passed down to the customers. Existing customers who have flexible loans will also now have to pay more EMI. So that is, uh, however, they say that uh, the inflation is under check. It is at 5.3%. Uh, so uh, they feel that inflation is under check. So there was a case for increasing the RBI rate hike. So this is, I thought, uh, an interesting news for all of you. Then there are two more uh, interesting news. One is, of course, the uh, earthquake, uh, the sad earthquake, which happened when we could not carry out any analysis in Turkey and Syria. Turkey is one country which has suffered uh, from many earthquakes in the past also. So the um, death toll. Death toll of bodies recovered have already crossed 12,000. Already crossed 12,000. And there are teams from many countries, including India, who are there for res for rescue operations. Theek hai? The many teams there. So Indian team bhi gave India has also sent aircrafts, NDRF personnel. We have sent medicines. And uh, we have also sent sniper dogs. Sniper dogs. Okay. Then they have also, in a very simple manner, uh, done a small analysis of uh, why the wheels are coming off Pakistan's economy. So why the Pakistan economy is getting derailed or the wheels are coming off of the Pakistan economy. So very nice, interesting article. Uh, there are three major factors that they have said. Firstly is dwindling forest reserves, forex reserves. So forex, uh, you need forest reserves to buy, import, uh, pick to get uh, items like uh, oil oil, medicines, which come from, you know, pain dollars. So Pakistan forest reserves have been dwindling and going down year after year. 
you can see this the graph and now it is at 3.1 billion dollars which is really pittance which is pittance for a large country like this so if you have no forex so it is almost following the lines of sri lanka and they have gone back to imf then because of that runway inflation inflation uh, uh, really eats into your reserves so 27% inflation we hum log ro rahe hain 5 se 6% inflation their inflation is at 27% average inflation close to 20% in a year aap so jo garib kahan jayega and free fall for pakistan rupee pakistan rupee which used to be about 85 rupees to a dollar 85 rupees to a dollar in 2010 and then it's remained steady at about 100 100 uh, pakistani rupees to a dollar for many years and then from 2018 onwards from 121 it has gone to 161 and now it is 204 and a half so 204 uh, pakistani rupees is equivalent to 1 us dollar so that is and then slow pro progress of economic growth so this is uh, the condition of pakistan and then of course you have the earthquake here and i'll take take you to the editorial page and then i'll come to the other interesting news from other newspapers yeah here it is in fact this is the first time i started with the toi today okay so three interesting three interesting uh, one article and two interesting editorials i'll start with the editorial the first is way too much so this is one newspaper which has cr criticized has criticized this increase in the repo rate increase in the rate by 25 basis points uh, which the mpc has voted in a majority of 4 is to 2 so they say hardening of interest rate, uh, rates means costlier loans if the root cause of inflation is excess demand tightening monetary policy through higher rates will bring down the price level without harming production investment if supply disruptions are the main cause of inflation raising interest rate is not necessarily the best course in may 2022 rbi did have a case to raise repo rate because of danger of inflation second round effects food and fuel make up 55% of consumer price index households feel the impact of changes in these items immediately so they have said that there was no case for increasing uh, the repo rate okay then of course this is on the quack up uh, call this is on uh, how what has happened to turkey syria impact magnified by poor construction india must ensure building codes are followed they say most of these places poor marginal housing and small towns uh, across many countries is because of poor construction poor construction so uh, they say ki india must uh, heed a warning from this and ensure building codes are followed because large parts of india say around 59% of india is earthquake prone 11% in very high risk zone 11% kashmir western himachal eastern uttarakhand northeast run of kutch 18% high risk zone in delhi delhi maharashtra haryana up bengal bihar and 30% in zone 3 kerala goa lakshadweep so uh, we can have the same kind of tragedy so at least the building norms must be very very strict and uh, uh, that should be followed so that is what they now this is a very interesting one in fact uh, this collegium uh, issue uh, has been going on now for almost 4 months almost 4 months and here what is interesting is there is an article written by argya sen gupta we the people should know who they are this is a new spin to the entire uh, issue that we have of the collegium system government recently has approved five judges to supreme court these are judges who were chief justices of state high court so they get upgraded come to supreme court so their appointments get uh, vacant so new chief justices have to be appointed so they say very little is known about them very little is known so he say the public must know what did they do when they were lawyers which cases did they fight what was their interest that time in uh, in this in the cases what has been their thinking what are their what is their uh you know uh, um, political leanings and this issue has got highlighted because of uh, this um, event where a uh, judge has been sworn in 
and uh, in the Madras High Court, and the judge has uh, been member of a political party and is known uh, for her uh, very, um, what should I say, uh, her comments on the minorities, and those videos are out. So they say a, a person like that who is prejudicial cannot be cannot have fair judge. So that is how they have dealt with. We the people should know how we are. So he's written about that. So he says that we should know about their background, what cases they fought as because they are mostly lawyers. They were lawyers for many years. Then they come into the judiciary. So and and which what are what are their leanings? So yeah, tha uh, as far as the uh, uh, judges, I think as transparency increases. Uh, like we come to know about uh, our political leaders, they are supposed to file an affidavit, which is uploaded, their you know um, assets and what work they have done. Same thing, probably about the judges also. Now we move to the Hindu. We move to the Hindu, and here again the first headline is RBI lifts loan cost to tame inflation. So uh, this is to tame inflation. That is why this. Uh, is being uh, you know this move by monetary policy committee mpc mpc is a monetary policy committee they decide and they voted 4-2 in favor of increasing it by 25 basis points okay so so that is how it is and then of course uh turkey syria Kuwait death toll cross 11700 and uh, then we move inside of course the match has started India Australia rivalry in cricket, but as I've been telling you, don't waste too much time on crime, cinema, and cricket because you are students. Okay, because you're students, you have more important things to do. Okay, now we come from uh, the main page. Here the interesting part is a Nordic India connect for to power a green transition. I told you last time, I had taken a class on this, that Nordic states are very small states. And they, uh, together on foreign policy and these issues deal directly. So when the last time the Prime Minister went, uh, they had a, we had a meeting with the Nordic states. That is why the Prime Ministers all had come. So there, it is an article jointly written by uh, a minister from Norway and Finland on green technology. They are leaders in green technology and how uh, green technology can can boost India's growth. So that is how uh, it is. It is a takeoff from the Copenhagen May 22 summit, where five Nordic prime ministers and India's prime minister agreed to intensify cooperation in digitization, renewable energy, maritime industries, and the circular economy. Circular economy. We have a class with you. So then we have a lesson from. A court appointment drama. Uh, uh, this is again uh, on the uh, on the appointment of a judge in uh, Madras High Court, where a uh, lot of our videos of hate speech were making the rounds. So, is a person with this kind of thinking will can that person give fair judgments? But very quickly, uh, the swearing in has been done. So, what it tries to say, and and then the same thing is on the on the editorial bench and bigotry. A judge's appointment exposes the opaque collegium system. So, bigotry is when you, uh, you know, uh, have uh, hate against other communities. So, this particular judge, so they say that the manner in which the government appointed her and the speed with which which was sworn in uh, shows that government can pick and choose even from what the collegium recommends. Even what the collegium recommends. So, this issue is uh, not wala. Hai. Uh, between the uh, how do we appoint our judges to high courts and supreme court so this is here of course this is very interesting I love sports news I've been a basketball player uh, NBA record has been broken by uh, you know LeBron James and he's broke he's, he's going to be all time NBA uh, scorer in, uh, in its history okay Now we come to the status and proceeds of disinvestment. This is a very interesting article. Very interesting article, uh, but not many people understand this. Disinvestment. What is disinvestment? I have told you these are 
or Central Public Sector Enterprise CPSEs. So government every year declares in its budget how much money are they going to get from disinvestment. Disinvestment is of three types. Number one, when the government offloads part of its shares, say it keeps the management 51% with it, 49% sells off and gets money and that money can be brought back into the economy. The second is when the uh, government entirely, entirely gives away the management but keeps some share just to take control on that. Third is just sales of the entire industry or the enterprise entirely given to a private place to manage, run everything. So that the money that you get from there is called disinvestment and the targets are fixed. So this uh, article by Diksha Munjal is on how this time the, uh, they've kept very little money for disinvestment. Even last time the target was not achieved. So year by year, right from 2014, they have given budget estimates and actual. So budget estimate was always high and actually the disinvestment was less. So, so this is on, uh, you know, uh, interesting article. Kaibar, you get this in the uh, lecture it or even in group discussion. Uh, should the money, should the government disinvest uh, that, you know, CPSCs, Central Public Sector Enterprises, which are, uh, may not be profit making. Or should we improve uh, their management to make them profit making? Know your English and word of the day must must read and keep improving your English because the key to having a fighting chance of uh, landing a class one guested officer job in the armed forces of India or paramilitary forces, coast guard, anywhere. Uh, um, uh, ability to speak, ability to write, ability to understand, ability to listen. Uh, English is extremely important, extremely important. So then you have, of course, uh, about the earthquake. And then, of course, very interesting on the on the two days, you must have seen the debate on the uh, motion of thanks to the president's address, motion of thanks to the president's address. And then, of course, we get to the international news. Very interestingly, Zelensky made a surprise visit to UK. He flew down to UK and met the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and also the King Charles III. And in his traditional style, he moves around in a in an olive green T-shirt. Olive green T-shirt doesn't wear a tie and suit like a head of a state. And he's asking for fighter jets from Britain. Britain is one of the strongest critiques of Russia. Britain, one of the strongest critiques and the strongest supporters of Ukrainian regime. So let's see uh, what if they can give uh, fighter jets. Tanks have already been, are coming now. Most NATO countries are con contributing to Abraham one, uh, Abraham tanks and Leopard tanks. Then of course you have the state of uh, the uh, the uh, State of the Union ad address with the most important address by U.S. President. So he's given this address and he says that we'll act on China after downing surveillance balloon. China is very, very angry on the way a U.S. fighter took on this uh, balloon, which uh, China says is a private uh, spaceship, um, you know, but uh, uh, it has been brought down by America and that is what America is. You've seen how, how they, they take decisions, bold decisions and go ahead with it. Then there is an interesting news from Pakistan. While their economy is tanking and situation is very bad, the Pakistan Navy is going to host 50 nations for a maritime excise from tomorrow. 50 nations are joining Pakistan Navy uh, in a maritime excise which will be held in the Arabian Sea of the Karachi coast. Again, the impact of the repo rate hike, uh, RBI moved to hit demand for affordable housing. So affordable housing uh, is the cheapest housing where young people like to buy the first house. So that will get affected because the um, bank rates, housing loan rates will increase. So this will have a dampening effect on the uh, entire real estate sector. That's what they feel. Let's wait and watch what happens. 
none of you are going to buy a house as of now i know so you will but uh, academically you must understand so now we come to the third paper third paper then i'll take your questions then i'll take your questions also then i'll take your questions also aaj humne reverse kar diya generally i started in indian express today i brought it in the end theek i brought it in the end and here again you have this uh, the rbi governor with uh, deputy governors in mumbai rbi rate hike is here uh, then of course uh, this is all political news interesting debate between the opposition and the treasury benches that is what this is dance of democracy now we have uh, again good coverage of the of turkey and how india is supporting how the me is fully active and taking care of also indian citizens 10 indians are national, national one is missing so probably missing uh, and um, after so many days uh, you can imagine how the families must be feeling then of course the assam insurgency was wrong ex militants at a panel discussion then you have the nsa Uh, who was in moscow and he says no country should be allowed to use afghan territory to export terror or radicalization so uh, this is uh, um, you know uh, targeting the pakistanis who have been using afghanistan territory for radicalization and uh, harboring terrorists but now they are buying it very badly now we come to the editorial and the explain this is a very nice editorial heat in the house heat in the house that is heat in the parliament and he says uh, the rahul gandhi speech got a rousing riposte from the prime minister so he spoke very well and the prime minister uh, uh, gets the last one to reply to all opposition uh, you know uh, speeches so prime minister spoke very well but the joust is incomplete adani issue needs more light than heat so the paper says the paper says that uh, while um, uh, you know the opposition has targeted on this issue where heidenberg report why no jpc or demand has been made to check whether our corporates are indulging in uh, good practices or bad practices that issue has totally been ignored and the, everything that is spoke about this issue has been expunged from the records of the parliament also which for uh, a democracy is not a good thing so here the paper says it's okay but the government must come clean on the adani issue on the heidenberg report and the way the shares have fallen and why banks like uh, sbi bank of baroda pnb and lic are investing in a company where who was indulging in malpractices then of course is on the uh, rbi's repo rate increase yeah now comes the ideas page and a very interesting article by admiral arun prakash i always say when he writes you must read He is the next ex naval chief, ex naval chief, one of the finest chief the Indian Navy had. He understands technology, so he has written that you know ICT uh, that's a catalyst for Indo-US technology cooperation. Indo-US technology cooperation, including in defense, by persuading Washington to lift existing export control restrictions, but Atma Nirbhata must remain India's ultimate aim. So what is happening is US wants trade. US wants trade they would like to sell every possible weapon system uh, if we want if we want while we want technology we want technology we want to manufacture our own because finally we want india to become a, uh, a indian defense industry to grow so that we produce our own weapon systems so he says while india is in dire need of tech technology the us industry remains firmly focused on trade 
India will therefore need to leverage its considerable purchases in the arms, energy, civil aviation, nuclear and other sectors in a holistic manner to extract technology from the US. So this is the thing that people want to give weapons, technology not want to give. They want you to be dependent so that spares will come from you and you will take it. I told you how C-17s fly to US for their maintenance. When engine oil change hota hai, or baki uske, um, uh, system check on it, the aircraft has to go to US. So that is that is what the uh, the ex uh, naval chief says about the ICET catalyst for US Indo US technology. This is initiative on critical and emerging technology ICET initiative for critical and emerging technology. बहुत बढ़िया नाम है and uh, that is where we need to we need to catch up. So give me thumbs up if you are enjoying this lovely discussion we are having, and I am trying to steer you all, uh, steering you all towards uh, falling in love with current affairs, falling in love with what is happening in the country and abroad, and making making informed opinions, balanced informed opinion, not based on WhatsApp University. Dangerous. WhatsApp news industry and mainstream uh, uh, television media will never will never cover issues in this manner. Nobody will cover ICET, Initiatives for Critical and Emerging Technology, Indo-US. What is our stand about collagen system, about repo rate, rate hike, how it's going to increase uh, the burden on people who want to buy houses and housing loans. Now, this is then uh, is the explained page where uh, they cover all topics. So this is about uh, while nobody can stop a member of parliament to speak whatever they have to speak in the allotted time in parliament. But uh, the speaker can expunge certain parts of speech. So here, uh, but that is only for actually unparliamentary language. If you unparliamentary language or something like that. But here, uh, the speaker uh, has, has removed uh, Everything where Adani was mentioned by the opposition uh, parliamentarians. So this doesn't go into the records of while now it's available in open media, YouTube and all that can't be removed. But uh, this is not this is not good. You know. Now reading RBI's policy review, this is again. Uh, Udit Mishra, who, uh, who is an expert economist on the uh, Indian Express, he has analyzed this uh, hike of you know uh, 25 basis points. Now, Microsoft Bing, OpenAI, and the changing future of search on the net. So this is getting very very interesting. The uh, uh, with the AI coming in and uh, Chat GPT. And this is the AI chatbot developed by Microsoft uh, backed startup OpenAI. Uh, the, the search engines are, are undergoing to go a major change. We were so used to doing Google search, but with ChatGPT coming, uh, so this is this is interesting. This actually uh, will Bing defeat Google? Let's see. Let's see what happens. But uh, interesting for all of us to read what is going to happen. Uh, in, in future on this field. Now we come to the world and you can see you can see rubble. Hopes of finding survivors phase at toll cross 11,000 Turkey city. And this side you have the you have the US president's US president's um, you know state of the union address. Uh, Biden urges Congress to help rebuild economy. So uh, they have lost majority in the Congress. So he's urging the Congress to help him rebuild the economy. And this is, of course, Zelensky's rare visit to Britain, where, you know, he's asking for military aid. Uh, this is, of course, the RBI governor who is, uh, you know, he has spoken on the Adani controversy. He says the size of Indian banks much larger to be affected, much larger to be affected. So he says, uh, we have suffered so much, you know, Nera Modi, Vijay Malia and uh, you know so many NPS. I discuss a class on NPS. How many uh, lakhs of crore rupees is written off bad loans? So he says we will be able to even this loss we will be able to take. 
without affecting our banks. Uh, then, of course, uh, this is France. Total is a very, very big company, Total, uh, like Indian Oil, HP Cell, much bigger. So they have put a hold on partnership with Adani. This is, again, a bad news for the conglomerate. RBI hikes interest rate by 25 BPS. What it means, small explained is here. I already have explained it. So here we are. So here we are. I am happy to be back. I am happy to be back with you all. Now I will take your questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Let me. Yeah. AQ Analytics. Uh, I really can't help you. You will have to speak to the uh, to the Unacademy team. Uh, an academy team. Uh, I really can't help you. Yes, Semant, I was I had gone for the Noshera Day Battle Honor 75th anniversary of the famous Battle of Noshera, which was fought under Brigadier Muhammad Usman. Brigadier Muhammad Usman, who himself was killed in action in this battle. So, very interesting battle. Battle of Noshera. My YouTube pe video bhi hai. So, its 75th anniversary was there. Uh, yeah, any questions? Thank you for welcome. Love you all. Thank you very much. So many good mornings and Jai Hind. Yeah, now I'll take your questions. Pakistan will survive. Vaishnav, it will survive. I have always said, not today, for last 20 years, whenever people discuss future of Pakistan, I will say they will muddle along. Kya hoga? They don't break up. Okay? Neither there will be a civil war. They will muddle along. So IMF will come to their rescue. Um, uh, maybe uh, Americans will come to their rescue. Um, and it somehow uh, situation will remain bad. Economic situation. But they will they will survive. Sri Lanka is surviving. <laughs> so countries will survive. Okay? But in a poor condition. So... So that is my view on Pakistan, Vaishnav. You, you will not find my views ever single-stick rhetoric, maar do, kaat do, khun kharaba kar do, ye capture kar lo, maar, ye sab nahi hota. Thik hai? Informed professional advice. Informed professional advice. Rubin Prastu, Pr Prusti, artificial intelligence is boon or bane? Don't know. We don't know. Thik hai? But it is here. It is here. It is how we make the best use of this technology. We can't put our heads into the sand and wish it will blow over. No, it is here. It's got tremendous use. Tremendous use. Tremendous use. This may shak me. Rohan, I'm just uh, just uh, consolidating myself over next few days and uh, that is where then we will probably uh, I can't leave you out of current affairs the josh of the special classes can't be left out okay so let me plan something I'm planning something I was away for the last five days but let me plan something on the current affairs classes in what format can I bring it should I bring it on YouTube or should I have a separate course for you all where interested people come and we discuss like we were discussing in our special classes. Virat Tyagi, uh, it will take initially long time to read books, but read 10 to 15 pages a day. And uh, you will see, you will see slowly you'll pick up the language. Thank you, Aviral. Thank you. Uh, so we will plan that. And uh, meanwhile, uh, our BOCC uh, course is going, going great guns. We have started another course. Uh, BOSC is about to complete. BOSC 15. So we will take a pause to either bring a, again a refresher course in between. Seven days pointed course. Six to seven days 
GTO, Psych, Interview, Taka, 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 Aapko refresh kar dein. Either we will, I'll ask your opinion, whether we should, uh, yeah, BOSC is for the, uh, must for beginners. Mein ta raho, jo BOCC, BOSC kar rahe ga, us bachche ki life change hai. These two courses, pocket money courses are made in that manner, it will, uh, it will give you a good chance of a main fight. बिल्कुल सही आपने पकड़ा है अभी चौहान अशोक रेड्डी मैंने एक वीडियो बनाई हुई हाउ टू मेक नोट्स मैगजीन का फॉर्मेट अलग है जो मैं करंट अफेयर्स मैगजीन देता हूं अपने नोट्स बनाने ठीक है उसके लिए प्लीज वॉच माय वीडियो मे बी आई विल टेक अ क्लास आल्सो ऑन दिस वन डे ऑन YouTube ऑन हाउ टू मेक नोट्स फॉर करंट अफेयर्स प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो या वी आर बाइंग चीपेस्ट रेट्स but uh, local market uh, uh, th that uh, thing is not being passed on you know i understand that but this is the time for government to make some uh, surplus britain is helping britain is helping uh, helping uh, ukraine it'll continue to help but fighter jet dena mujhe lagta nahi Yeah, man, I agree with you. My association with them was very strong. Uh, those old classes will remain, I think. They, they, won't, they will use it to the maximum possible. Old classes will remain uh, with them. It is their property now. So, but uh, new topics which I lined up, uh, starting with, uh, you know, Turkey, India-Turkey relations and all that, that will take place now. We will we'll bring it on my platform. Let's see. How to read, write a daily diary? Just start writing, Akip. Akip, cadet, Akip. आप पढ़ना शुरू करो, लिखना शुरू करो, daily diary. Talk to yourself. ठीक है? Just write कि आपका दिन कैसा रहा, whom all did you meet, what lessons did you learn, and what are you going to do tomorrow. लिखना शुरू करो पहले. ठीक है? जैसे जैसे आपका मन करता. Write for 15-20 days, then take a call. आपको कैसा लग रहा? Virat Tagi, you better join the BOCC course, if you really wish to improve your, improve your communication skills, your reading power and English. Now, West will not stop the war unless Russia stop because Russia is the aggressor. Pele Russia has to be ready to stop the war. Ukraine is only defending. Ukraine is not attacking. Ukraine is defending its soil and West is supporting the defender. So, unless Russia shows any inclination to stop the war, you, uh, West would want Russia to bleed. West would want Russia to bleed as much as possible. You old rivalry hai. Itni mushke se jayegi. Thik hai. So friends, maza hai. I've been able to answer all your questions. So please like the session. Like the session. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. And every day, every day I'm going to be with you all at 10, 13 in the morning. Henceforth. Thik hai. Chalo fir. All the best to you. Chalo, take care. Have a nice day. Have a nice day and stay motivated. Stay inspired. Bye-bye. Thank you.